How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Now today we've got something a little bit special for you. It's some bonus content for the week. It's a massive compilation of some of the scariest video clips going round. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Abandoned houses are fun to explore for many thanks to the potential treasures and interesting sites that can be found inside. Reddit user Akamanus decided to see what could be discovered in an abandoned house on the beach, but wound up seeing much more than he bargained for. In the picture, viewers can see an empty room with dirty walls, a floor and a ceiling. In the centre of the photograph is an open window that initially seems to give in to another dark room, though there's what looks to be a grey shape in the back of the room. When viewers zoom in, they suddenly get a clearer view of that shape. It seems to be an eerie grey face with dark eyes looking into the distance. Commentators on the Reddit post went wild with theories as to what the grey face may be. Some noted a resemblance to Japanese demon face masks, while others remarked that the figure looks like some famous television or movie characters. The original poster suggested that the figure could simply be an object that resembles a human face. Though most commentators agree that seeing this side in person would have certainly been enough to nope on out of there. Visiting locations rich in history, especially going back to prehistoric times, is a thrill for many. The number of exciting events or happenings that may have occurred in these areas make for plenty of interesting stories and memories. At the same time, ancient places have the potential to showcase things or figures that aren't expected, such as with Reddit user Motorbiker1985's photo taken in a ruin in Scotland. The black and white photograph shows a ruin with an open window frame. In the middle of the window, we can immediately see what appears to be a normal human face, though upon closer inspection, we can see that the figure's skin seems slightly transparent, and a mist appears to surround him or her. Viewers can also see that the figure is not connected to a body. Reddit user Motorbiker1985 snapped this picture near a prehistoric burial ground, a common hotspot for ghosts, spirits or otherworldly entities. He remains positive that this picture is not a case of double exposure, as the clarity of the face is quite sharp. Some other Reddit users brought up the possibility of it simply being another person. Still, others pointed out that this isn't possible as there's no body to match the face. So could this be a complicated trick from the camera, or could this entity be someone visiting from beyond the grave? There are abandoned buildings, and then there are abandoned psych wards. Psychiatric hospitals that have been stranded are a popular destination for ghost hunters and other curious individuals alike due to the history of what once went on behind the walls. From old school psychiatric medical treatments to the housing of the insane or even criminally insane, there's plenty to be found in an abandoned psych ward, as Reddit user Quay's photographer proves. In this picture, viewers can see what looks to be a large grey wall with some graffiti scribbled on top. To the left is where the real creepiness begins. Standing behind the wall is what looks to be a child whose face is distorted, though viewers can make out hair in front of some eyes, a sly smile and a type of formal school uniform. The figure appears to be looking right in the direction of the camera. The picture was taken in the nurse's quarters of the abandoned psych ward, with the original photographer claiming the child was not with his group and stating that there were no other visitors when they were there. Some other viewers of the photograph believe that the photographer may have unsuspectingly snapped a photo of a sneaky child who moved quickly away from the shot. In contrast, other users are thrown off by the face distortion, claiming it has to be a ghost. Either way, the sly smile given by the figure is enough to give anyone the chills. Family pictures are supposed to be an opportunity to capture a loving, special moment between relatives that they can cherish forever. 
Unfortunately, not all family pictures portray just happy moments, with some photos capturing something unpleasant altogether, like in Reddit user Anesthetic Pathetic's photo. Viewers first see two young girls hugging each other, presumably in a kitchen or other living space. To the right of the girls, we see a hallway that gets much more frightful with a zoom in. Here, viewers can see what looks to be a ghostly figure with a face that resembles a skull looking at the girls. The photo's original poster claims that she often suffered from night terrors while living in this house, and blames the ghostly woman captured here as their cause. Some Reddit users believe the woman is a ghost, while others believe the figure is an aura of some sort. Though what the figure exactly is is not clear, it's very understandable how such a presence can cause the worst of nightmares. With the region stemming back hundreds of thousands of years and many civilizations, it's no wonder that Italy is filled with supposedly haunted areas. Some of the most haunted places are castles that were initially constructed hundreds of years ago, including the infamous castle of Monclieri. Reddit user Macis Fatchum shared one eerie picture taken in the castle by a carabinieri officer that has many internet users both puzzled and creeped out. In the picture, viewers see what looks like a long hallway leading to a room in the back, with one woman walking towards the end of the hall. To the left of the door of the room at the end stands a mysterious figure that appears to be wearing grey clothing, has a white face, and is looking dead on at the camera. The first structure of what eventually would turn into Monclieri Castle was built in the year 1100. It wasn't until the 1500s that the structure was turned into a castle, where it went on to see plenty of royal and historical figures. As the castle's history extends so far back, many who see the picture don't doubt that this figure could be a ghost or spirit who continues to live on in the castle to this very day. Love to get your thoughts on this mysterious figure in the comments section below. Children are a source of joy for many around the world, with their laughter and play infectious to those around them. But what about when the joy is replaced by fear? Reddit user Uncle Hobbs provided a picture that may show the latter. The picture shows a young boy whose face has been blurred out looking at the camera. Right above him is a bone-chilling, translucent, yellowish presence with two eyes, a nose and a mouth looking at the camera. Many photography enthusiasts chimed in believing that this photo is simply a case of double exposure or motion blur caused by the camera. Still, other commenters state that the figure looks like an entity that has attached itself onto the young child. Either way, the presence of the additional figure is certainly not something to be joyous about. Sometimes we don't even realise something's off or scary about a picture until much later on after giving it another look. That's exactly what happened to Reddit user Sketchnote Sky when her sister sent her an old picture with something unrecognisable and terrifying in the background. A young girl sits at a table in the picture, putting some food in her mouth and looking into the camera. Behind her sits the kitchen, dark with no lights on. Right above and behind the girl, viewers can make out a strange black mass. The head of the body is particularly frightening, as viewers can see a white, misshapen face with holes where the eyes should be. The general consensus of the figure in this picture is that it's simply a mix of different pots and pans bunched together, giving the effect of an eerie figure. Others suggested a balloon, a cookie jar, a clock and even a cat. Still, others were reminded of certain movie characters such as Jason from Friday the 13th or even the Scream Mask. Could this simply be a case of objects caught strangely in the background? Or could this be a sinister entity making a surprise appearance? For most horror lovers, ghost tours are typically seen as a tourist trap, with genuine ghostly sightings a rarity. 
Tourist David Duran expected more or less of the same on a visit to Savannah's Sorrel Weed House, where suicide and murder have run rampant. While his initial trip proved to be disappointing, the next day, checking the photos he took on the tour, brought his experience into an entirely new, horrifying light. In the first photo Duran took, we see a mirror with other tourists taking pictures of it, as the mirror is supposedly haunted. Nothing looks particularly abnormal in the photograph, along with the second picture, which is overexposed. It's the third photograph that viewers get a glimpse of something goosebump-worthy. The tourists in the picture's right-hand side have turned away from the mirror, but one figure's reflection seems to remain. The figure looks to be a young man who is tall, lanky, and looking into the camera. Duran explained that the young man reflected in the mirror was not part of the tour group, with his attire looking something like it could have been found in another century. He had checked the timestamps with other members of the group, and none had recalled seeing the man on the tour or in any other picture either. After some research, Duran discovered that the Sorrel Weed House is located near an area where a bloody battle occurred during the American Revolutionary War. Could this figure be a ghost of a soldier who has remained forever trapped here on Earth? The owners of Sorrel Weed House are investigating the image, as are several other paranormal specialists. The general consensus seems to be that this is indeed evidence of a ghost. Moving into a new home is supposed to be an exciting time for any new homeowner. But for Reddit users Stretch a Smile, this exciting time turned into pure fear, thanks to a photo they shared. In the photo, viewers see a hallway that leads to a bedroom with an open door. From the doorway, viewers can see a frightening sight, what looks to be a face peeking out from behind the doorway, that looks greyish in colour with black hair. The picture was enough to prevent the original poster from moving into the new home. Many of the comments on the photo agree that the site is creepy, agreeing that they wouldn't want to move into the potentially haunted residence either. Not all who move into a new home know of any potential hauntings, so maybe this Reddit user should consider themselves one of the lucky ones. Parties are made for good times, with pictures capturing the best moments possible. Unluckily for Reddit user GetInMyVan444's uncle, one party picture captured something far more sinister. Viewers see a man on the left standing in front of a TV in the back. On the TV screen, viewers can see the reflection of the light of the camera, as well as something much stranger. On the right side of the TV looks to be a figure of an older woman, with large dark eyes looking exactly into the camera. Viewers of the picture have had plenty to say about it. Some noted that older TVs have image burns, with images from the TV still lingering even after the TV's turned off. Other viewers were puzzled by the position of the old woman, as her reflection is large and would require someone to stand close enough to the TV to capture it. Could this be explained by an image burn, or is this indeed something from the afterlife making contact? Houses where menacing figures once lived have often been the setting of many a horror film. While they're terrifying themselves in the movie world, they become even more frightening when one visits these houses in real life. Slaptown viewer Christopher G proves why this is so with the photograph he shared originally sent to him by a friend who visited an old home with plenty of history. In the photograph, we see a room that appears to be an attic with objects and furniture strewn about. While the camera's focus seems to be a pink chair covered with an American flag, something more sinister catches our eyes in the upper left-hand corner. Here, we can make out a translucent figure standing and looking in the direction of the photographer. While the bottom half of the figure is harder to make out, the head of the figure is more defined, looking like a man with a darkened face. The photographer didn't initially notice the figure until the photo was posted online. The figure becomes even more frightening once the history of the house is brought into context. 
The house once belonged to Captain George Conrad Flavel, who moved into the home with his wife and son in 1901. The house was passed down to Captain George Conrad Flavel's son, Harry Flavel, who lived there with his wife and two children until he died in the 1950s. But it was in the 1940s when trouble first started. Harry Flavel's son, Harry S, attacked a neighbour with a hatchet in 1947. After the incident, the Flavels became ostracised by the rest of the neighbourhood, living as recluses in the home. Forty years later, Harry S went on to randomly attack a neighbour's car with a chain. He eventually stabbed the neighbour too. He served seven years in prison and when he returned, the family quickly moved out of the house where it was abandoned for nearly 20 years. Having housed a man who was prone to attacking those around him, the question arises. Could the creepy figure caught in the photograph be the spirit of Harry S, displeased with visitors to his once territory? Or could it be that a spirit with evil intent perhaps drove Harry S to these violent actions? Both theories, coupled with this photo, make for an unsettling conclusion either way. Yearbooks can already be scary enough thanks to awkward adolescents forever captured in photographs. But what if something else, equally as harrowing, is caught on camera? Slaptam viewer Corey S offers viewers the chance to see something not commonly seen in yearbook photos in his dad's 1984 book. Upon first glance, viewers of the black and white photograph see two young women sitting on a couch in white dresses, smiling for the camera. There are windows that seem to show the trees outside of the house or perhaps a building in the back. Upon closer inspection, viewers can suddenly see something else, what appears to be a man standing behind the window on the left. He appears to be wearing a cap with his hands crossed in front of him, looking directly into the camera. Corius explains that his father and his father's high school classmates could never identify who the man was in the photograph. While some have suggested that the picture could simply be a case of double exposure, Corey S denies this due to the man's position behind the window frame. Could this man just be a reflection, or could it be a ghostly figure who wanted to leave his mark? Love to get your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. Most of the time, when people hear strange sounds in their house, they can be explained by a house settling, the weather outside, or other housemates moving about. Reddit user Oopy Spoopy Man began to hear strange noises in his kitchen, but this time, something far more terrifying may have been to blame. In the photograph, we see a hallway that leads to a kitchen. The part of the kitchen we can see initially looks dark, though there seems to be a strange blur to the left of the door. When we zoom in on the picture, the blur takes on a horrifying shape. The blur comes into focus to show what looks to be a man's head turned to the side, completely white with dark eyes gazing at the photographer. Initially, many other Reddit users couldn't see any shape. When they were able to look at the picture closer, they completely freaked out and began to come up with many different theories. The original Reddit poster claimed that his housemates were all out of the apartment when the picture was taken, and that there's simply no way to explain what was captured on film. He ended up deciding to move out of the residence and in with his family, too scared at the possibility of seeing the figure once again. While some skeptics bring up the potential that the figure could be someone in a mask, such as Michael Myers as seen in Halloween, most agree that the original poster shouldn't take the chance of staying in the residence. So what do you think that mysterious face could be? Love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Taking pictures in the mirror is usually a fun activity for most people to do together. Unfortunately for Reddit user Bedaily13, what was supposed to be a fun mirror picture with her sister turned into an unnerving mystery. In the picture, we see a fogged up mirror with a finger drawn heart right in the middle, presumably with the sister's name scribbled inside of it. We can also make out the two sisters posing, but what we see in between the girls is what makes this photo a scary puzzle. In between the sisters are what seem to be two ghostly figures, with one standing above the other as they both look into the mirror with the girls. 
The original poster explained that her house was originally built in the 1960s, but there was no abnormal history that took place in the house that she knows of, even after doing some extensive research on its background. Other Reddit users suggested that the two boyish figures could have been siblings in another time, who wanted to join in on the photo and believe there's no huge threat to the girls. Still, the mystery of who these boys are and why they chose this particular house to appear is a puzzle to everyone who's seen the photo. Yetis have been a source of debate among individuals across the globe for thousands of years in history, derived from Himalayan folklore. In the West, the Yeti is commonly referred to as the Abominable Snowman, with many individuals having reported seeing evidence of them in various parts in the West and East alike. Could Scott Yeoman have spotted one outside of his home in Bailey, Colorado, as seen in these photographs from 2017? Yeoman's photographs immediately give viewers a chill. Prior to snapping the pictures, Yeoman claimed that he had entered his living room and quickly noticed a terrible stench that smelled like a combination of animal waste and vomit. He first thought the stench could be emitting from a bear, but one glance out of his window completely changed his mind. In the photos that he took with his Kodak, we can see what appears to be a Neanderthal-like being with long scraggly hair, a wide flat nose, a face covered in marks, and piercing black eyes peering into the room. Yeoman claimed that once he grabbed his gun, the creature quickly disappeared into the woods. He called the police who arrived and examined the photos. Two of the policemen were equally as puzzled as Yeoman while a third insisted it was simply a bear outside of the window. Commentators of the photographs had varying opinions, with one suggesting that it could have been an escaped gorilla, and yet another offering the idea of Bigfoot. The shape and form of the figure's face is certainly strange and could be many different things. Take a look at the photos and judge for yourself. As hospitals are commonly associated with death, it's perhaps no surprise that there have been countless sightings of strange ghostly shapes and figures around them for years. Kit Williams' mother-in-law was yet another individual who had a peculiar experience in her hospital room in Brisbane, Australia. In the unsettling photograph, the camera is pointed towards the ceiling of a hospital room. In the mid-right view of the photograph, we can see an air vent. While most of the vent looks normal, we can see a strange yellow-brown shape on the left-hand side that seems to peer out eerily into the room. What makes this bizarre figure even scarier is that the mother-in-law claims the shape would blink and look around the room as if inspecting her from above. Even more terrifying, the mother-in-law claimed that she would feel others touching her and waking her up, but no one was around when she would wake up. Others who have viewed the photograph suggested that the figure could simply be a small animal, such as a possum, that have been known to crawl around air vents. Others believe this figure could be something paranormal with sinister intentions. Further still, some have suggested it could be a peeping tom that has crawled into the vents for a better view. Either way, there's no denying that this air vent is definitely home to something that shouldn't be there. While the purpose of motion sensing cameras is often to keep individuals inside a residence safe from things outside of it, sometimes it's the inside forces that pose the biggest threat. Slaptown viewer Phil Hayball offers evidence of this with a photo he shared of a friend's house in the United Kingdom. In the picture, the motion sensing camera is pointed at the front door. This time there's no need to zoom in to get a closer look. The petrifying figure is clear as day hovering right in front of the entrance to the home. The large figure, semi-transparent, seems to be wearing a large cloak or trench coat that covers its body except for its large, dark hand hanging from a sleeve. The head of the enormous figure is cut off by the top of the image. There's no denying that a strange figure is in this photograph, though what this figure could be is a mystery to all who see it. Phil Hayball says he has no further information on the figure or what it could possibly be, 
making this one of the more head-scratching motion sensing camera puzzles we've seen. Is there anything scarier than a family picture gone wrong? Chris Downing soon discovered that perhaps no, nothing is, with a family picture that was taken with his children in 2012. The picture first appears to be a normal family photo, with Chris Downing sitting in the middle, his daughter to the viewer's right and son to the left. The family all seem to be perfectly happy, smiling for the camera, but a look at the son's leg begins to paint a different picture. On the son's leg appears to be a small hand that seems to grip onto him, which comes from no discernible body or another figure that we can tell. Downing explained that a week after the photo was taken, his daughter called him and frighteningly pointed out the hand that was gripping the son's leg. None of the family members were able to explain the hand in the photo initially, though Downing soon came up with an idea. Prior to the photo being taken, Downing had suffered a drug overdose, where he had temporarily passed away before coming back to life soon after. Downing believes the only logical explanation of the hand in the photo is that a ghost or spirit came back with him from the afterlife. Most of the commentators of the photo are quick to disclaim the picture, simply suggesting the hand could be one of a relative out of the shot. However, the family has been adamant that no one else was in the room beside the photographer. Dying and coming back to life is a very rare medical occurrence. So it's definitely not hard to believe that something just as unusual could have joined him on his journey back to reality. When it comes to what we may see in space, extraterrestrial or otherwise unexplainable life is to be expected for some. After all, much of space remains unknown to humans, including what could inhabit other planets. The Curiosity rover managed to capture a photo of a very strange object indeed, located on Mars, now nicknamed the Martian Rose. In the Curiosity rover's picture, we see what appears to be a large rock formation on Mars, with nothing particularly out of the ordinary. With a closer look, we can spot what appears to be a small object that seems to be sticking out vertically from the sand. At the top of the object sits a round formation that seems to face up towards the sky. Space fanatics soon began to speculate about what the object could be, ruling out the possibility of another rock, instead suggesting that it could be either a plant or mushroom. The top of the object looks like a flower that is yet to bloom, where the Martian Rose got its nickname. So what do you think? Could there really be a plant on the surface of Mars, or is it just a trick of perspective? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Many individuals post eerie pictures and videos on social media in hopes that others can explain the creepy stuff that they've seen. Facebook user Tyler Thornton did just that, with the photos he uploaded of what was supposed to be a completely empty house in Victoria, Australia. The photo, taken at the house of the Facebook user's recently deceased father, is a close-up of a window. Here, viewers see a glimpse of the kitchen, but what stands inside of it is what's gone on to divide the internet. Standing to the viewer's left of the kitchen is what appears to be a tall man holding and looking down at something. The man's face and body look grey and hard to make out, but stand out clearly across the black background. The uploader of the photo emphasises that no one was home when the photos were taken, and other Facebook users quickly began to post theories as to who the man could be. Some automatically suggested a ghost resembling a man who's doing the dishes. While another user wondered if the man could be a squatter. The photo still divides viewers today, with no definite answer as to who the figure is ever given. This footage was initially caught during a live stream by paranormal investigators Sean and Cody for their Instagram, The New Reality 11. The stream begins with the investigators explaining that they're in an abandoned building somewhere in the deserts of Idaho. I don't know where we're at. We are, we're in the middle of the desert and we found another abandoned location. 
Got a knock right where that was. <laughs> yeah. They claim that as soon as they arrived, they heard strange voices and banging sounds coming from empty rooms. Yeah. And it's got a creepy vibe to it, right? We came in, we were getting knocks, and right. we heard the voice in the other room. Yeah, and then those weird K2 hits you on the Eddie. Yeah. The clip shows them exploring room after room of the derelict building. This place is massive, guys. Like, it's crazy. More than half an hour into the stream, the pair of investigators find a mysterious hatch, leading to a small basement. Inside the room, they discover an old children's swing set among the debris. Stomach. How creepy, look at that child's swing, bro. The ghost hunters comment on the eerie vibe of the basement. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, bro. Dude, I, so when we went down to the attic, I got a feeling, it's a bad feeling, but I got a feeling of a little baby in there. I kept down there. I felt like it was a punishment area, like right. get down there and right. whatever. Towards the end of the stream, the brave investigators decide to take one last peek in the basement. This time, something truly unsettling happens. Take a look. Hi. Is that a ball? There's a ball. Oh, it just moved! Oh my god, it just moved! It just moved! Holy cow! As you can see, the ball on the ground seems to move all by itself. There's a ball. Oh, it just moved! Oh my god, it just moved! It just moved! Holy cow! Cody and Sean are stunned by the strange event. Oh, it just moved! Oh my god, it just moved! It just moved! Holy cow! The strange sounds and whispers and the inexplicable movement of the ball have left viewers wondering if something sinister happened in this building, causing it to become abandoned. Another knock. There's, yeah, right. Could that basement have been used as a punishment room for some poor child long ago? Let that thought sink in for just a moment. Sean and Cody also run a YouTube channel called The New Reality Paranormal. They regularly investigate strange and eerie locations. As always, there's links in the description box below. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. That was a, that was, that was a knock, right? Basements are often feared for their eerie quiet and still darkness, but what about when they're full of inexplicable sounds and creepy images? YouTuber and everyday Canadian captured what may be considered the ultimate nightmare for many with his hair-raising video. The video begins with the YouTuber explaining the situation to his viewers. He says that he was upstairs when he started to hear strange banging sounds coming from his basement. The sounds are unlike the usual laundry machine noises he often hears, making him question what could be happening downstairs. He announces that he'll go down and check out what's happening. And uh, I'm gonna go down and check right now. This is. This is freaky right now. He slowly descends the stairs, saying that he's freaked out as he rarely goes into his basement, an unfinished room in his house. This is freaky right now, because I rarely go in my basement. It's an unfinished basement. As he goes down, there's a loud banging sound that scares him. Holy oh, what the f is that sound? He shows viewers the dark basement, moving the camera around slowly. He walks further into the basement, stating that he's alone down there when he spots a small, old-looking baby carriage. Take a look at what happens. It's just me in the basement. Holy crap. What the f was that? What the f was that? As you can see, the baby carriage begins to move and speeds towards the YouTuber as he screams and the video ends. What the f was that? What the f was that? Commenters on the video agree that it was a scary situation and offered a few suggestions for how to get rid of the potential ghost or other paranormal figure. Some suggested bringing a priest into the house to banish the presence, while others recommended buying a ghost cleansing material such as burning sage and spreading it around the basement. Others, however, think that the carriage could have been pulled by string. As you can see, the bottom of the carriage flip upwards as though it's being dragged by something. What the f was that? What the f was that? So, what do you think? Flippant hoax or genuine haunting? Love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comment section below. What the f was that? What the f was that? 
Shadow people have been seen by millions of people worldwide. These are shadowy figures that tend to resemble human beings and are usually caught in the individual's peripheral vision. YouTuber Drew Flo may have managed to capture one on camera for everyone to see quite clearly. The beginning of the video shows the narrator walking down the steps towards his basement, whispering that he's hearing strange sounds and hoping to capture something on tape. Let's see if I can get anything on video. When he gets to the basement, he pans the camera around, giving us a good view of the whole scene. There's a toy box in the centre of the room with toys spilled out around the carpet and the narrator claims that no one's been in the basement all day. Nobody's been down here all day. The man looks around some more before backing out of the room. We'll play it at normal speed first, see if you can spot anything weird. What? When you slow it down as he shifts the camera away, viewers get a brief glimpse of a terrifying shadowy figure with bright eyes looking straight at the camera. The man turns the camera back to the basement where there's now nothing. He looks around more for a few moments before going back up the stairs. Shadow figures are often associated with malintent and dread for most individuals who have the misfortune of spotting them. They're even more suspicious as many individuals can't see the figures head on. While many see these figures in the evening or at night time, could it be that this YouTuber caught one in the middle of the day for all to see? Also, just on a side note, how freaky is the painting on the wall on the far right? That alone would cause laundry day to come early. In this bizarre video uploaded by X Hauntings, viewers are treated to two potential paranormal activities, ghosts and orbs. The creator of this video claims the renovations they completed in their house stirred up some pretty strange activity, as renovations often do for many. The video starts at regular speed, showing the camera operator walking in their basement and moving the camera around with nothing initially bizarre being shown. The clip is then played again, this time in slow motion. Listen to what was captured. As the camera operator turns left, a horrifying scream and growl is heard coming from the room opposite. If you watch closely, a strange light seems to zip right past the camera. Here it is once again in slow motion. The clip then jumps to another scene. Here the camera operator moves the camera around the basement. Take a look at what they captured. Oh, hello. Oh my God. <laughs> this time orb looking objects seem to jump around with someone off camera exclaiming, oh my god, before the clip ends. It smells in here. Oh, <laughs> hello, oh my god. <laughs> orbs have been the cause of many debates within the paranormal community. Some believe that orbs are supernatural with potentially evil intent. Others argue that they may simply be floating dust particles that reflect the light of a room or camera the number of orbs moving around as well as the scary scream and flash of light make this video lean more towards the realm of the paranormal. But as always, I'd love to hear what you think in the comments section below. Often, people associate ghosts or otherworldly figures with slow floating movements as they wander around scary basements. In Harry McClary's TikTok video, he caught anything but a slow going figure, leaving many viewers looking over their shoulders. The clip starts with the cameraman walking through his kitchen as loud banging noises are heard coming from the basement. Ah! 
He turns the camera around to capture a scared looking girl with a hand covering her face in fear. The cameraman turns on the lights for the stairs and begins to descend. His dog barks in the background in response to the loud sounds. The man stops halfway as viewers see the entrance to the dark basement. The man calls out, hello? What happens next will surely give you the chills. Take a look. Hello? On a repeat viewing, we can hear the sound of loud footsteps coming up the stairs. Hello? Oh my God. Since the man turned so quickly in the video, it's hard to see what exactly seemed to storm up at him. Regardless, the inexplicable banging sounds and freaked out girl and dog prove that there's no doubt something unfriendly lurking in the dark. Hello? Blake Smith's Gaming Blitz provided a video saga of ghostly wailing coming from his basement. The three videos he uploaded to his YouTube channel give three different accounts of a very mysterious situation that would eventually even involve the police. In the first video, the YouTuber explains that he's alone in his house and hears what he believes are crying noises coming from his basement, possibly of a young woman or child. I hear what sounds like crying coming from the basement. I got a deadbolt for the basement after the last occurrence down there, but... He recently purchased a deadbolt for the basement, he elaborates, after the last time this same situation occurred, hoping to keep whatever was crying out. He states that he even called the police last time, who managed to find wet footprints in the basement after a search of the area. I even called the police, they found wet footprints down there when I let them down there, so I... I don't know what the... Just... He walks down the basement stairs. Listen to what he captured. It sounds like a crying child. The man calls out hello to no reply except more loud wailing. Hello? What the f is that? Hello? He continues to call out as he walks into the basement. He shows viewers a weird substance on the wall that resembles handprints before panning the camera around to an empty room. This next video, which is a little longer, sees the YouTuber explaining the situation again, where he adds that he's heard loud bangs and other eerie sounds coming from the basement recently at unusual times. I don't know what's going on now. Uh, I keep hearing bangs and just really weird noises coming from the basement and... He adds that some viewers of his last video recommended that he leave his phone in the basement to see if he could capture anything peculiar. He walks down to the basement once more, moving the camera around to see if he can spot anything unusual, but nothing appears. He then sets his phone down and leaves the room. A minute after he goes, the noises begin. The noises are a mix of screaming, wailing and howling. After a couple of minutes, the man comes back downstairs, looking around and asking if there's anyone there. There are no more sounds. The man picks up his camera and leaves the room. 
As he begins to walk up the stairs, he whispers that he just saw a shadow and he flees up the stairs. I just saw a shadow move away from underneath. Oh man, I'm out. I'm out. In this last clip, the man walks down the stairs, turning on a bright light as the scary sounds emerge once again. Hello? The man shines a light in the basement, calling out to no response before the video abruptly ends. Oh. These YouTube videos have received tens of thousands of views and mixed responses. Some argued that the sounds resemble those usually found in a recording or video and therefore might be fake. Others swear that there's a spirit haunting the basement possibly a child who died there long ago. However, the fact that the police allegedly found wet footprints in the basement make this video saga chilling for all who see it. Often wondered if Christian music can successfully keep demons away or if the music brings demons out. YouTuber Donnie Drunkard decides to test this theory after seeing shadow figures appear in his home that he swears are of a demonic nature. The video creator reveals that a shadow figure has been appearing at the top of his staircase to the basement, as well as inside the basement itself. He believes the formation may be demonic in nature. The video then cuts to footage of the video creator's basement as the narrator describes how he's been seeing a fast moving shadow out of his peripheral vision when he's sitting in the basement alone at night time. Always over there in the corner of my eye, I can see something like that, like black like that, just goes zip zip, zip like that, always over the corner of my eye. He then begins to play Christian gospel music to see if he can provoke the demon. Twenty seconds later, the video cuts to camera footage of the stairs leading down to the basement. The video goes back and forth between the two images. Viewers are taken back to the camera from the top of the stairs where something truly eerie is seen. As you can see, an unidentifiable black figure seems to float down the stairs as the lights on the ceiling begin to shake. Back in the basement, the sound of beer bottles clinking and falling can be heard in the distance. The narrator picks up the camera and walks towards the sound saying, I heard you, you are not welcome here. I heard you. You are not welcome here. There's more sound of beer bottles falling as the man continues to walk down the hallway where nothing appears. The strange black mass, the shaking of the lights and the sound of beer bottles falling is certainly creepy in its own right, though whether the Christian music being played is protection or provocation is a question perhaps we'll leave up to you, the viewer, to decide. You are not welcome here. Objects randomly moving on their own have been common in many horror movies, shows and video clips. Advil's first video shows just why this event has many people getting goosebumps, while his second video explores an even scarier nightmare for many. Advil's first video begins with him calling out hello while pointing the camera towards the stairs leading to the basement. Hello. I'm gonna turn on the light, all right? He looks around, claiming that he heard something, asking if there's anyone in the room. No. Okay. I heard something. 
After a few seconds, something terrifying is caught on camera. Take a look. Whoa, Jesus! If you slow it down, a rack of some kind suddenly starts to move towards the camera. The uploader screams and retreats in fear. Whoa, Jesus! In the second video, a voiceover explains that the video was recorded after voices were heard coming from downstairs. The following footage was recorded after hearing voices from upstairs. Please be advised, the images that you see may be disturbing. The clip begins with the same narrator calling out again down the stairs that he heard noises. I heard some noises again. Hello? After a moment, strange whispers can be heard. Hello? Then something chilling happens. Take a look. A dark figure is seen walking across the basement at the bottom of the stairs. At first it's hard to see, but if you lighten the image, the strange figure becomes more apparent. Could this same dark figure have been the thing that moved the rack in the first video? Commentators aren't sure, but they all agree that the video creator should look for a different place to live or face even scarier consequences. <laughs> Cameras set up around a house are usually there to provide comfort for a family that no unwanted visitors are inside. But what if something paranormal arrives instead? Reddit user KittyK38 shared footage of some frightful activity going on in her basement at night time. With this clip, viewers see an image of the video creator's basement, where nothing looks amiss. Ten seconds later, however, a sheet in the middle of the frame shifts down by itself. About 30 seconds after this, the light switches off before another light in the middle of the room grows larger and brighter. The regular light switches back on, with this happening once again before the video ends. As no one was around when these mysterious events happened overnight, the Reddit user is completely stumped as to what could have caused these weird events to happen. Love to get your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. For centuries, there's been sightings of the paranormal around Japan. With such a long history and rich culture when it comes to spirits and ghosts, it's perhaps no surprise that there are many videos on YouTube that claim to show scary things occurring in the country. In this video, an individual is exploring an abandoned building somewhere in Japan. Viewers can see a derelict building in disrepair. During one part of the video, the camera operator pans downwards where viewers can see a square hole in one of the building's walls. Take a look. Initially, there seems to be a small ball of light that appears. But if you replay the footage in slow motion, something sinister becomes apparent. In the dark, you can just make out two bright orange eyes peeking out from the hole. Replayed once again at an even slower speed and with the image brightened a little, viewers can now see a grey face belonging to the eyes, staring at the camera operator. The figure's facial shape resembles that of a man, but the greyish skin and ghoulish eyes seem to take on the shape of something out of this world. Could it be that an evil spirit has taken refuge in this abandoned building and is not happy with an unwelcomed visitor? Security cameras often capture some very strange things.
pets behaving badly, potential paranormal activity. However, this footage seems to have captured something so strange it's difficult to explain. Take a look. A small, unidentified flying object can be seen manoeuvring its way around the kitchen. Thanks to the security camera's fisheye lens, we're able to get a fantastic view of the entire area. The object begins at a door in the back right hand corner of the kitchen and then floats forward towards the window. It then approaches the table, descending and hovering before setting off towards the window once more. Whatever the mysterious object is, it appears to be paying meticulous attention to its surroundings, almost as if it's gathering information. While at first it might be easy to dismiss the object as a drone that's being controlled by someone off camera, it's what happens next that will likely change your mind. As you can see, the miniature craft seems to disappear into the ceiling for a second or two before entering the room again. It then continues its sweep of the kitchen before the footage suddenly ends. What could this mysterious object be? Its apparent disappearance through the ceiling certainly seems to rule out a man-made drone. Its movements seem purposeful, leading some to ask the question, could this object actually be sentient? Others have suggested that the craft might have been surveying the room. However, if that was the case, who or what is controlling it? This video seems to raise more questions than it answers, and the more you watch it, the more mysterious it gets. Often it's amateur footage that reveals the most mysterious things. This is certainly the case with this video, captured by a young boy who was attempting to film the tattoo on his father's back. In fact, what the boy seems to have inadvertently caught on camera is so strange that the footage was reportedly featured on an Ecuadorian news broadcast. The video begins as the boy approaches his father. The man sits shirtless in front of a computer, seemingly unaware of his son's intentions. The boy holds up a phone and begins to zoom in on a tattoo on his father's back. He then briefly turns the camera on himself before panning around the room. Shockingly, the camera then captures what can only be described as the face of a monster. The blurry quality of the footage and the sudden movement of the camera makes it difficult to pinpoint just where this ghoulish creature is standing. However, there's no denying that it's there. It has dark, menacing eyes and its skin appears wrinkly and deformed. While the exact details of how and when this video was captured are vague, it would appear that neither the boy nor his father noticed the creepy face at the time. Furthermore, the creature's face seems far too real to be a mask or makeup, leaving many skeptics stumped as to an explanation. Some viewers think that the monster might be peering in through a window, while others have speculated that the creature was invisible to the naked eye and only showed up on film. Much like the first video, this footage is certainly difficult to explain. What do you think is going on in this clip? We'd love to hear your opinions in the comments section below. When Loch Ness Monster enthusiast Andy Dixon discovered a shadowy form on Apple Maps' satellite imagery, he reignited the debate over the cryptid's existence. Dixon found the image by chance while using Apple Maps to view the loch and its surroundings. He's first thought that it was the legendary monster, so he contacted Gary Campbell of the official Loch Ness Monster Club. Campbell quickly added the image to the treasure trove of videos and photographs that have helped build the tale of the creature over the years. The image clearly shows what appears to be a large whale-like creature swimming just below the surface of the loch. It has a broad head and large fins and tail. 
However, its shape appears contrary to the popular depiction of Nessie, which is usually described as having a small head and long thin neck similar to that of a plesiosaur. Some skeptics have noted that the shape also resembles the wake off a boat. However, experts believe it to be unlikely as there's no hull visible in the image. Whatever it is, it's just below the surface and heading south. So unless there would have been a secret submarine trial going on in the lock, the size of the object would make it likely to be Nessie, Campbell said. While this image doesn't prove the existence of the Loch Ness Monster, it certainly adds to its legend. For now, it seems the keen-eyed cryptid enthusiasts will be left debating whether Apple or Google is the better option when searching maps for mysterious creatures from the safety of their armchairs. When this homeowner was away on holidays, their security camera managed to capture something truly mysterious. A few seconds into the footage, something seems to trip the motion sensor, activating the front light. However, there doesn't appear to be anything moving outside the house. The light soon switches off. Now keep an eye on the skyline just above the houses. As you can see, a light can be seen in the sky emerging from behind the houses in the distance. It disappears behind the houses once again, only to reappear to the left soon after. It then does a 180 degree turn and begins flying back in the direction it came from. As is often the case with videos like these, one's first instinct is to think that it could be a bug moving on the camera's lens. However, in this video, that's clearly not the case, as the mysterious light first appears from behind the houses. A meteor too seems out of the question as the shape seen here changes direction mid-air. Some viewers have suggested that the light might simply be a remote controlled drone. Others believe that it could be some sort of military jet. Still, footage like this certainly does make you wonder how many other mysterious objects might have been unknowingly recorded in the night skies, then stored in temporary files of hundreds of thousands of other security cameras out there. Have you had a chance to check your footage lately? If you've ever wondered what goes on in your house when you're not at home, then this mysterious video uploaded to YouTube by Wilderberg will likely give you the chills. They claim that while they were out driving, they received a message saying that their camera had detected movement. This is the footage that was captured inside their house. As you can see, a bright flash of light can be seen snaking towards the right of screen. When the footage is slowed down, the mystery becomes no less clear. It appears too large and moves too fast to be an insect, and there's no clear outline of a shape, just a streak of bright light. In fact, the object moves so fast that it leaves a tail, much like the spreading wake of a boat as it speeds across the room, eventually disappearing into the darkness. While many videos showing mysterious lights exist, a substantial amount of them can usually be explained away as insects, the passing lights of a vehicle, or even a poorly applied special effect. However, this video appears to have captured something different. What do you think this clip shows? Could it be something supernatural or even extraterrestrial? We'll leave this one up to you to decide. YouTube channel The Hidden Underbelly 2.0 is no stranger to mysterious videos, and this footage is certainly no exception. Supposedly captured somewhere in China, the clip shows a man holding a strange object while standing on the shoreline of a large body of water. <laughs> Seemingly delighted with his discovery, the smiling man exhibits his find in front of the camera. 
The object appears to be some sort of living creature. <laughs> Likened by some to a gingerbread man, the creature squirms as though it's been removed from its natural environment. <laughs> Could it be some sort of bizarre aquatic creature yet to be classified by modern science? In the video's description, the uploader suggests that the creature could be some sort of mutated starfish. However, some keen-eyed viewers believe that the creature might be a hoax. They suggest that the figure is simply some sort of grotesque puppet, being manipulated by the man as he shows it to the camera. <laughs> Unfortunately, as is often the case with mysterious videos such as this, there's little to no accompanying information, making it difficult to speculate on what it is we're actually seeing. However, with so much of our planet's oceans and lakes yet to be explored, it's easy to assume that these watery depths hold many secrets that scientists have yet to uncover. So what do you think this video shows? Some sort of strange aquatic creature, or just a simple hoax? Love to get your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. Now, if you enjoy these longer episodes, then check out our previous compilations. There's one right there. Otherwise, you can binge on our giant paranormal playlists right here as well. Now, leave us a comment down below which one of these clips you thought was the scariest or weirdest. We love getting your feedback. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 